Hi, and welcome back to Fan Talk. I'm Simon. And I'm also Simon. No, I'm Dave, and uh, <laughs> we're uh, going to be doing uh, another... Uh, Review of the Honest Trailers Endgame, which uh, came out earlier this week. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing these. These guys always have a good product, and I think they did this the second they could get their hands on the video. In the world. <laughs> by the boys, taking the fight to superheroes. Watch now. I love that show. Prime video. We'll talk about that later. The boys. After 21 MCU movies, prepare for the final conclusion of the Infinity Saga, and also part two of Infinity War, penultimate film of Phase Three, intro to Phase Four, and backdoor pilot for about three Disney Plus shows. Whew. You remember when movies <laughs> you know, ended, and then your imagination no had to take over? Ugh, sounds exhausting. Avengers <laughs> Endgame. The most successful crowd-pleasing global film franchise is back. But since life on Earth sucks now, it's all about grief. Loss. Lost again. Guilt. It's supposed to be me. Depression. Are you crying? And despair. Thanos should have killed all of us. Hey, deeper because drawing, today's deeper escape of fantasy isn't becoming a superhero. <laughs> it's going back to fix your mistakes instead of scraping by in the waking nightmare of your own failure. <laughs> Did I do a time heist on my life? Five years have passed since half the population vanished, or as introverts call it, winning the lottery. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Baseball remains unpopular. Culture got frozen in 2017. Damn. And an actor shortage has forced directors to cast themselves. I cried just before dessert. Now, the Avengers must band together to do what every big franchise does when they write themselves into a corner. Time. <laughs> All three of those. Watch the surviving heroes dissemble for a now that's what I call Marvel tour of your fandom with several alternate camera angles on the Avengers. I'll have that drink now. A trip to the S.H.I.E.L.D. base where they store all the movie's closure. Thank you. <laughs> the cliffs that demand you lose someone you love, or at least your work bestie, and a daring raid to justify the existence of Thor the Dark World in a plot <laughs> put together by a whole bunch of wibbly wobbly tummy wummy stuff they'll try to explain 100 times. The next Thor movie will even time more None of it is. None of it's a joke. Now explain yourself. If you travel to the past, that past becomes your future, and your former present becomes the past, which can't now be changed by your new future. Now explain it again with a visual aid. The Infinity Stones create what you experience as the flow of time. Remove one of the stones, and that flow splits. Now explain it again, but simpler. They're not trying to stop something I'm going to do in our time. We're trying to undo something I've already done in theirs. Even simpler. Changing the past doesn't change the future. You know, maybe time travel's a paradox, no matter how it gets justified. See? <laughs> Where'd you get the shield? Heroes, <laughs> clogging up an air filter somewhere. Like <laughs> Iron Man, who's really matured since Iron Man 1, but is still the a-hole who'd rather die than let someone else get the last word. I am inevitable. And I... Captain America, who after spending a decade in the present day, has learned to curse. Son of a bitch. Oh, you gotta be sh me. Why? Hell, I do. And look at Guy's butts. That is America's ass. Thor, who it's okay to make fat jokes about, because Last he's key. also suffering from a very realistic post-traumatic stress disorder. What do you think is coursing through my veins right now? Cheese whiz. Cheese whiz. <laughs> he's struggling. The Hulk <laughs> who cut down on the runtime by finishing his arc before the movie starts. I know it's crazy. Hawkeye who deals with the loss of his family by having a very cyberpunk midlife crisis. <laughs> Ant Man who, thanks to the internet's brain poisoning, is a letdown every time he's not inside Thanos's ass. Flick me. Black Widow who finally gets a primary storyline in one of these movies, killing herself to motivate the boys. We have to make it worth it. <sighs> At least you can tell the passage of time by her hair. That's something. Rhodey, hoping and praying they don't travel back before Iron Man 2. <laughs> Nebula, who ruins the Avengers' plan so many times, the most helpful thing she does is kill Nebula. True. And Captain Marvel, who's so powerful, the movie desperately finds excuses to leave her out. The things that are happening on Earth are happening everywhere, so you might not see me for a long time. Until he comes up with an excuse to bring her in. So Marvel can finally have her lead the first all-female Avengers team-up shot. Woo! Maybe Marvel will <laughs> let them team up together in a sequel? 
Ugh. Okay, maybe they can all pose again in the background of the Loki show? Remember Thanos? The MCU's most complex and motivated villain yet. He did. <laughs> and taking his place is old Thanos. Uh, new old Thanos. Younger old Thanos? You know, the version who sits and lets everyone else do all the work. Find the stones. What will you do? Wait. Wait. Who steals his evil plans from space balls? Reduced to Adam. You used them two days ago. What the hell am I looking at? When does this happen in the movie? Now. What did you do to them? Nothing. Yet. Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. And who commands a faceless CGI <laughs> army, the likes of which we have never seen before, since his last two faceless CGI armies. <laughs> but whatever, watching him fight Thundercat was the best moment of my life, and I'm including the birth of my children, guys. Sorry, kids, you're just not worthy of my time and attention. So in a world where everyone hates Game of Thrones now, everyone's worried about Star Wars, and J.K. Rowling won't stop crapping on the floor for Legacy. It's a minor miracle we got a satisfying conclusion to a global nerd franchise. Now just do it again, forever, or the entire film industry will collapse. No sympathy from us, Disney. You did this to yourself. <laughs> Starring Iron Deficient Man, One Punch Woman, Captain Clenge, <laughs> and hardly wait. I am Roots. Bo Jack Norseman. Jeremy Renner's one big line of acting. Go grab your hammer and you go fly and you talk to him. Go downstairs. Go help. They need you right now. We need more Russos. Give me more Russos. <laughs> Avengers! Assemble. <laughs> <laughs> Hates the ex-girlfriend, Werther's original Avenger, and Ratman and Time Bad, coming soon to Disney Plus. I love you 2.8 billion dollars. <laughs> I love you 28 billion. Oh my god, your mobile plan is still active? Clint, you should turn off auto pay, man. Did this yeah, five years later, I kind of didn't think about that. Your phone shouldn't be working. <laughs> Maybe they were on a plan. They were on a plan, and he, you know, he never canceled the plan. The blip plan. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Um, yeah, point out some of those uh, little plot holes I doubt that they're really good at doing those. Yeah. <laughs> then just then they do it in a way that doesn't ruin the movie at all, but just kind of calls out some fun to it. Yeah. Have you, uh, show at the very beginning is brought to you by Boys. Have you seen any of that yet? No, I, I haven't. You need to watch it, man. It's good stuff. We'll do a video on that one uh, here soon. I'm going to catch up on that. Yeah, it's a good show. But No, that was funny. Uh, they, they always do a good job, and uh, that was <laughs> I like the, the, <laughs> the thing about time travel. Let me give you a visual aid. <laughs> <laughs> like this is not like any other movies time travel <laughs> and then they list off like you know all the other movies like back to the future and the others and i think one of them even says die hard wait that's not one that's not one yet <laughs> not yet <laughs> bruce willis might go back in time at some point well he has just not in die hard okay the, the monkeys one yeah yeah um <laughs> the monkeys one 12 monkeys <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, have you seen the uh, trailers yet for that new Will Smith movie where he uh, battles against younger Will Gemini, Smith? Gemini, man. Yeah. Yes, that looks fantastic. It I'm does. excited. And I would have been nervous about that before this year with uh, the Uncanny Valley and uh, CGI. But Al Alita and uh, Samuel Jackson have uh, given me uh, courage. Oh, yeah. That, that Alita that well. movie is now apparent to me that we don't need actors. <laughs> we just create them. Just need motion cap. <laughs> yeah, motion capture and voice actors. I went back and actually watched that again the other day since it came out on DVD. And um, God, I hope they do get around to making some kind of sequel or follow-up. Because it really just kind of ends on a, not exactly cliffhanger, but it's like, oh. all this like Obviously, the third plot's all resolved, but then like there's more yeah. credits. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see what happens. Cameron's getting his... Uh, the rest of his series and uh, if he you know wants it maybe he'll work something with the studio uh, as far as the budget of the money versus how much it made it's kind of on the fence of whether or not they do a sequel or not but uh, he tends to kind of get what he wants in hollywood so we'll see yeah uh they might want to sweeten the deal if he's gonna be making the next 17 avatar movies <laughs> <laughs> actually i think they're what filming the three of them back to back 
Yeah, it's it's gonna be like Star Wars. They film it all together and then they break it all. Chop it up. And, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. More unobtainium yeah. for Pandora. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, watching with us, guys. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>